This week for Wildlife Wednesday, we're talking bats. Now bats used to be pretty common in Scilly, but sadly by the 1990s, they had almost completely disappeared due to habitat loss and a lack of food due to insecticide use on farms. Bats must eat up to a third of their body weight in food a night to survive. That's the equivalent of 3000 insects. Now, thankfully, due to a change in practices, bats numbers seem to be recovering and we're out tonight on St Mary's for a bat survey. To date, seven species of bat have been recorded on the Isles of Scilly, but only three of them are resident. The common pipistrelli, the soprano pipistrelli and the brown long-eared bat. Bat surveys may be done at dawn, dusk or even both. And the greater the likelihood that a site is being used as a bat roost, based on factors like building age, structure or location, the more surveys will be required to ascertain whether building works can go ahead at that site without negatively impacting any bats present. This evening we're setting up for a dusk emergence survey where we're going to sit and monitor the building for any signs of it being used as a roost, both visually and using our bat detectors. The bat detector works essentially by converting the high pitched sonar that the bats emit when they're searching for their prey um, to an audible sound that we can hear through the machine. Pipistrelle species tonight, you should see a frequency of between 42 and 50 to kilohertz and it should sound like constant clapping until they get close to their prey when they hone in where the claps speed up and it starts to sound like a raspberry. We've got our bat detector but we've also got this night vision camera that can just watch down the side of the building that I can't see and then Darren gets the joy of watching a couple of hours worth of um, uh, video when he gets back to the office tomorrow. Both surveys now have been complete for the bat survey uh, and after reviewing the footage as well we found that there are no bats entering or leaving the building so therefore the planning permission can go ahead. This doesn't mean that bats aren't present so therefore our recommendations will be to uh, enhance the site for bats in the future such as bat boxes and to carefully take down the structure uh, during the demolition phase.